Apple just wrapped up day one of their Worldwide Developers Conference and we got so many exciting announcements. iOS 15, iPadOS 15, macOS 12, watchOS 8 and so many other amazing things. But in this video, I'll be going over the top new features introduced in iOS 15. So let's get straight into it. iOS 15 isn't a huge update or a major redesign and that's completely okay. There's a lot of quality of life enhancements and updates to the system that everyone will enjoy. First, let's talk about FaceTime. Apple has brought some major improvements to FaceTime, making it a lot more powerful and feature-rich. One of the new features is SharePlay, so you can watch movies, TV shows, listen to and share your music, and share your screen. When sharing music, movies, and TV shows, there's synced playback and controls, automatic volume adjustment when you talk, and you'll also be able to see your friends' reactions to what's happening on screen as well. Like I said, you'll also be able to share your screen. So if you want to browse through your photos or plan your vacation as a group, you can do so while seeing and talking to each other. There's also spatial audio on FaceTime group calls, so you'll hear their voices in the direction the person is positioned on screen. Or you can change the view from the floating faces to an even grid in much larger conversations. You can also turn on portrait mode to put the focus on you, and you can even zoom in during FaceTime calls using the back camera. There's also a really cool feature that allows you to change the microphone mode to one of three modes, standard, isolated, and wide spectrum. We all know what standard is. Isolated uses AI to put your voice front and center and then wide spectrum that'll leave the ambient sound unfiltered. Here's how they sound on the other end. Okay, so this is wide spectrum. I guess you can hear all the background noise. Now, this is voice isolation. So I haven't turned off the background noise, but you should be able to hear me better. Then this is standard. So none of the other modes, just the normal standard mic. Last step in FaceTime is the ability to schedule calls and also share them with a web link so that even your friends with Android and Windows devices can join in. Now let's move on to messages. There's also been some marked improvements in messages and Memoji. In messages, you can now see links, images, and whatever other content that was shared with you in the respective app. So for example, if my friend sends me a web link, I can see that in Safari. There's also new Memoji customization, so you can choose your look from many new types of headwear, accessibility customizations like cochlear implants, oxygen tubes, and soft helmets. Now, multiple photos show up as collections and messages, as a collage or as a stack, and you can swipe through them or tap them to view them all as a grid. And if you're in India, you can silence notifications for unknown senders, transactions, and promotions. Next up, we're going to talk about the revamp to notifications on iOS. They have a clean look with the larger app icons and the contact photos that makes it easier to identify. And with Notification Summary, you'll get a collection of notifications delivered daily based on a custom set schedule. The summary is intelligently ordered by priority with the most relevant notifications at the top. These are much welcome improvements. In addition to this more mindful and productive approach, Apple has also added a feature called Focus. Focus helps you stay in the moment when you need to concentrate or step away. Choose a focus that allows only the notifications that you want. You can get work done while you're in the zone, or enjoy a distraction-free dinner with your family. You can pick from a list of suggested focus options or create your own. And when you turn on focus mode, it's automatically also set across your other devices. And when you're in a particular focus mode, you can signal your status on iMessage, allowing others to know that you're busy. And for truly urgent messages, you'll get an option to notify them anyway. Third-party messaging apps will also be able to use your status with the Status API. You can also dedicate a page on your home screen to a specific focus and organize your apps and widgets in a way that reduces temptation by making only related apps visible. The page appears when you're in a focus and hides everything else. Next, we've got Safari. Safari has been completely redesigned, with a fresh new tab selection screen and a new tab bar design so you can see more on screen and also navigate between tabs by just swiping. There's even tab groups that organize your tabs and it's synced across all your iCloud devices. And soon, you'll also be able to install Safari extensions like Honey, just like on the Mac. There's a lot of information in our photos and iOS 15 uses secure on-device intelligence to discover more in your photos. One of these updates is live text, which can intelligently recognize text in photos and it also works in the camera app. So you can point your iPhone camera at text and quickly take action on useful information. There's even visual lookup, so you can quickly learn more about art, landmarks, nature, books, and pets simply by tapping a photo on your device or on the web. Even Spotlight has improvements, showing you richer results for artists, TV shows, and movies, as well as your contacts. Photos also has a new interface for interactive memories that lets you personalize the look and feel of your story with a song and a vibe to match. Let me show you. For example, I visited the air show earlier this year. It automatically matches the pace and the color grade of the video with the vibe of the music and this is something I think I'll be looking at a lot more often. 
There's also been significant improvements in health, so you can share your health data with your loved ones and also see new trend analyses that help you better understand changes in your health. There's also enhancements to privacy with increased visibility into how apps access your data. To look at this, simply visit the privacy section in settings and take a look at the app privacy report. There are also a whole bunch of new Apple designed widgets, some of which are redesigned like the weather app and some are completely new like Find My, Game Center, App Store Today, Sleep, Mail, and People with family sharing integration. The weather app has also been completely redesigned with a much easier to look at interface presenting relevant and helpful information in an easy to understand manner. There's also a brand new map and weather allowing you to check temperature, precipitation, and air quality. Another quite major feature is offline Siri support for basic system commands. You can use the assistant without the internet. Maps also features new updates with an all new experience. 3D landmarks look stunning and there's amazing details in roads, trees, buildings, and neighborhoods. They even look different both during the day and at night. Maps also offers new driving features, like a dedicated new driving map that helps you see current incidents and traffic conditions at a glance. There's even AR walking instructions to show you step by step which way to go. Another minor update is the Wallet app. The Wallet app now allows you to add your driver's license or ID in supported countries, as well as keys for your home, hotel, and more. Now let's talk device compatibility iOS 15 supports all the devices that you see on screen right now, and it even extends its support all the way back to the iPhone 6S. And that's amazing. Six years of software updates so far, and as far as my friend tells me, everything seems to run just fine on this first beta. Granted, some features are missing due to the lack of processing power, but it's still amazing to see the 6S still chugging along. And that's about it for this video. That's been a quick recap of some of the top features in iOS 15. There's a whole lot of new features in iOS 15, and in my personal opinion, I love this update. If you want a full extensive list of all the new features, you'll find a link down in the description below where you can check that out. Also stay tuned for more coverage, I'll be taking a look at watchOS 8 and iPadOS 15. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.